Hello everyone, my name is Maz. Today we are playing some more Walking Dead. When we last left off, we were invited to a dairy farm where we were promised a nice meal. But while we were doing a perimeter check, Mark was hit by an arrow and is now getting patched up. How you feeling, Lee? Look, I'm really sorry you almost got killed out there. Uh, we should have told you how dangerous it was. No shit. You saw what they did to your buddy. Nobody's safe here until we start to fight back. But how? The two of us should go out and do some recon. Then we'll all mount up for some revenge. Hell yeah. Who the fuck are these people in the woods? We don't know. We think some of them used to work at the big box up the way. Save lots. Yeah. Anyway, they're nutty as all hell and get mad when they're hungry. So are you ready to head out there and find their camp? Yeah, we gotta work together on this. Those bandits are a danger to everybody. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Did Clementine want to come or something? Why'd you just run to the fence and stop? Here. Oh shit, you found it? Watch my back, Lee. I'm gonna check out the tent. Fire's still hot, it looks like, so they must be recently gone. This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Nothing. Oh, uh, looks like something to me. Honestly, there's something right there, dude. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid-sized. So maybe it's like another parent and child situation going on up here? Oh, well, look at this. What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. That was really suspicious of him. I was like a little family photo here. Oh, I knew there was like a parent and a kid. Clementine's hat? Uh, Oh my god. Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. What the fuck? No shooting as long as we gave you food. What What'd the you fuck get happened? Clementine's hat? We had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We okay. had a deal. Who are they? You people broke it first. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> She's crazy. Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy. <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now, maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Uh, take a can of beans. Fuck, uh, take a little girl. Where'd you get the hat, the dude? Same to you. I'm very Where confused. did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot on? every goddamn person I see. Look, there's two of us and one of you. No matter what happens, one of us is gonna kill you. Like you could kill me. They couldn't kill me. They tried. Killing everywhere. Take all the dead folks you want. We'll make more. Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for us. No, what the hell? Who was that? Why would you shoot her? God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman. Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. No, she did not. She was aiming at me. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. Well, take the crossbow at least, you know. That, that, that's a free crossbow. 
Thank you. Last time we left it behind, <laughs> and I was kind of upset. How did she get into her base and take the hat? And why didn't Clementine tell us that a lady took her hat? She just said she lost it. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back. What happened? Handled it, Mama. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. What the hell happened to those two? What's going on with them? Oh. Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. They don't exactly see eye to eye on how we should be doing things. Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. And Lee, don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay. Go ahead. Whoa. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> Ew, Clementine. What the hell, man? My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it. You said you would. Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. Did you see any strangers around the motor inn who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? Uh, that's a weird time to ask this question, but, uh... I haven't thought about having kids in a long time. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Hey there, Andy. Yeah? We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. There's something strange going on here. I don't like it. I get bad vibes from these people. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost... pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. Okay, I mean, like, that's sweet and all, but we've all been through shit, dude. It's a freaking apocalypse, man. Like, you can't be an ass to everyone and leave people for dead. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. How's Mark doing in there? Best patient I ever had. Oh, my boys get so much as a scratch and start hollering. He could definitely teach them a thing or two about being tough. I'd still like to check on him. You're gonna have to trust me on this, Lee. I've helped stitch my share of wounds. I know what I'm talking about. Wait, why isn't she letting me go inside and see him? What the fuck is this? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. Okay, that's kind of weird. 
It's locked. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. That guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. If, if I find a screwdriver, I can take off the screws here. But why don't they just wait till nighttime to do this? Like, why do you have to do this while they're in the barn? Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know... Urban? That's oh, you what? are not saying what, what oh I think God. you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. Sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Why do you lock that door? Because we can't afford to lose our shit to the people in the woods. Uh, they come down here every once in a while, raid our stuff, even with the fence. I just found this multi-tool. That should help with getting the lock off. Now all I gotta do is get Andy out of the barn, and we are good to go. Danny mentioned he needed something. Did he say what? Shit, I, I can't remember now. Sorry. <sighs> all right, all right. Be right back, Doc. Okay, let's do this. False alarm. I'm back. Damn it. Okay, let's find a better distraction then. So, what do y'all keep in the barn back there? Besides cows, I mean. It's nothing interesting, I can promise you that much. Just some odds and ends. Takes a lot to run a farm, you know? I'm inclined to believe her. Like, I know the boys are sus, but like, I don't know, like, what could they be hiding back there? Unless they are eating people. After what Kenny told me, I'm starting to think they may be trying to hide something. You two are just asking for trouble. But if you insist on wandering around, I'd be careful, Lee. I'm gonna go check things out. Watch yourself, Lee. Okay, so I have her blessing to go snoop around. So I'm gonna be like, Lily told me to. <laughs> when this all goes sideways. I tried distracting Andy, but he keeps coming back. There's gotta be something out there you can mess with to keep him busy for a while. What about those generators? I wanna fuck with the generator. Okay, let's go mess with the generator, I guess. Let's go put us all in danger. Why am I doing this by myself? Kenny, this is like 70% your idea. I'm going to just, just turn it off. Just simply just shut it off. It's going to take him two seconds to come out here and turn it back on. Damn, this thing is the worst piece of shit. Something's always tripping the breaker. Yeah, see, that took him literally four seconds to repair. I'll just keep fucking with it. <laughs> Alright. Get up. Go stand in the corner again. Uh, Isn't he going to make the connection that, hey, Lee's just standing here. Lee, are you doing this? That's going to be my last try at that. Yeah, like, at this point, he's not even just saying anything. He's just coming out here and turning it right back on. Oh my god, you can use this panel down here? There. That should do it. Wait, what? You're gonna take it? Oh, fucking thing through a belt. Damn it, Tom. Oh, ah, son of a. Fuck. Wait, Lee oh, put that in his pocket, her. right? Wouldn't he be suspicious that the belt is just completely missing and not just broken at the bottom of the little machine? Like that, it's just gone. Well, you know what? If he's not gonna question it, neither am I. Let's go in there and get that door open. 
Oh, damn. Right when we were about to open the door. Mom! Dad! Dinner time! It's dinner time! Okay, honey. Let's get that. Dad! Dad! Come on! Let's eat! Kenny, come along, honey. Kenny, come on. Don't make the children wait. I'll make an excuse for you. Get that thing off. What the hell? No. Now it's gonna look like I'm the asshole snooping around. Gotta hope there's actually something back there so we don't look like a freaking idiot. Huh. No. We do not look like Boy, a freaking idiot. Didn't you hear the bell? Dinner time. What the hell you got in that back room? Look, we have food here, but Danny and I still gotta do a lot of hunting to keep everyone fed. When we catch something in the woods, we skin it and dress it back there. Mama doesn't like us to make a mess in the house. So you see, nothing to worry about. Wait, but what's with all the clothing and stuff? Oh my god, are we gonna eat people? Are they cannibals? Oh Excuse boy. a mess. We had to block the back door after a walker got upstairs. Don't worry. That was a while ago, and I ain't been back inside. Okay, well, he's armed. Everybody sit down. I'll go get the meal. Oh, this is a delight. I could eat a horse. Where's Mark? Now, don't you worry about him. I've already brought some food up. You just let him rest. We're gonna eat Mark. If I wash my hands first. Bathroom's right outside in the hall. And be sure to get under your nails. You've been mucking around in the dirt all day. Oh my god. They're a family of cannibals and I'm about to eat Mark. I can smell it. Well, unless he is as thin as a piece of cardboard, he's not in this room. <laughs> What'd they do with my boy? Did they stuff him in this closet, Hitman style? power cord. Do I plug it in? What the hell? Oh, this is a secret door. How do I get to the secret room? Oh, it's behind. I knew there was something up with this bookcase. I don't know if I said it out loud, but I, did, I thought there was something up with this bookcase. Alright, here we go. Mark's a dead carcass. I... Fucking knew it. They cut off his legs? Lee. Mark. What the hell happened? Uh, brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, uh, man? Don't eat dinner. <laughs> oh my god. I knew they were cannibals. What the fuck? How is he so calm? Hey, don't, hey, don't eat dinner. Clementine. Get to Clementine before she eats. Only Clementine. Smack the food out of their hand. Uh, don't eat that. Don't eat that! Huh? <laughs> Lee, Jesus, man. Did you find something? Aw, oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee, what's gotten into you? He just had uh, to start. They can uh, use some goddamn manners. Uh, you're, you're eating human. eating human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. I'm scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Mom, I was eating that. What is going on? They're picking us off to trade us meat. You're out of your skull. Mark is upstairs right now with no legs. Brenda, tell me he's not being eaten right now. Yeah, I don't look so crazy now, huh? It's true. Oh my. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We got to think about living. It was Settle an arrow. Down, honey. It was a single Growing arrow. up in rural Georgia, you're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boys. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Oh, I'm gonna puke. I don't know what to say. I'm just gonna say nothing. 
Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. He wasn't gonna die, it was an arrow. Like y'all. Uh. Run! Clementine, run! Nobody's going anywhere! Oh, fuck. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the fuck? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! here my Mommy, fucking family. I don't want to die. Mommy, uh, what did I eat? Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Hey, not the kid. What the fuck's wrong with you? Let go of her, you son of a bitch! Oh shit. That was abrupt. Open the goddamn door! You can't keep us in here! <coughs> Open up! I will tear you fuckers you apart with my bare hands. hands! We gotta find another way out of here! I will knock the Please, goddamn Dad, door down! Stop. It it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. You didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet- Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. I didn't drag my feet. Bruh, I took- You're an ass. You okay, Clementine? They- They didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! This goddamn film sucker was the one who brought us here! Will you all just shut the fuck up? I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. I'll break that damn door down! Dad, you can't get- uh, uh, <laughs> Easy! <sighs> oh, God. Dad? Did he die? <laughs> thank God. Oh my God, thank you. No. Dad, come on! Dad! Oh God, he stopped breathing. Good. I think he's had a heart attack. Shit. Kill him. Is he dead? He's not dead! Somebody help me! He's dead? If he's I wish dead, I could have killed him. He's not dead! You know what has to happen, Lee. Think about it. You saw that poor bastard at the motel? How fast he turned? What are you saying? Lily, I'm sorry. I truly, truly am. But in a few minutes, we're gonna be stuck in a locked room with a six foot four, three hundred pound, seriously pissed off dead guy. Fuck you! We can bring him back! Lee! That man is dead. You both know what happens next. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on, we know this guy's not going to make it. Remember what Ben said. We've got to destroy the brain. Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. you got to have my back this time. Bro, what God the... Damn it, Lee, he just I wants to you. secure the Please kill? Please help me. Come on, Dad. Come on. Oh, fuck. Wake up. Oh I God. hate that guy. <laughs> I'm gonna go with with Kenny. I hate him so much. I choose to hit him in the head with an axe. Both of you! I don't wanna see! I'm sorry, Lily. No, no, no! It's the only way. <laughs> Get off me! Don't do this! Can't we just like wait until he starts no, no, to get no. up, then hit him? Like, oh, Get yep, he is a zombie, then we hit him. Like, if we just stand behind, like, over him with an axe, waiting. No! Then we could just, you know. Oh, not an axe, I guess. That big old brick. No! No! God help us. Get wrecked, loser. Look who's laughing now. You think maybe we were too hasty? Only one important thing right now. Getting the fuck out of here. But you know what? On the amazing win of Larry getting bopped, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't, then you know, leave a like, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.